Hey, it's Chris Duncan here. I want to shoot this video for you because I wanted you to understand the biggest problem and the simplest solution. And that problem is that most business owners like you, you don't have enough leads. You know, one month you're in feast, the next month it's famine. Every day you're waking up, you're asking yourself, where do I find new people from? And I know what it's like. It's like you're you're on a roller coaster where it's, you know, massive highs and lows, highs and lows, and you just wish you could take time off. You wish that you could have a business grow by itself, and you wish you could get to all those things that you want to do instead of just having to go and chase more leads and, and find more business. Typically, I see business owners in two situations. Either they're doing the chase, the roller coaster, or they just haven't gone in full time. They're getting their money from somewhere else, and it's the biggest shift to actually having a business that works, that scales to 100,000 or more, is to get the leads right. And here's a big secret. It's not a secret. In fact, it's been a very simple system for a very long time, and I wanna share this with you. In fact, hundreds of years have passed with this very simple system, and here's how it works. Number one, you use media to get attention. And media, content, and I wanna to talk to you and take you through eight ways to create different types of media. But let's think about the way that we've used media forever. Newspapers, magazines, TV, radio, movies, sports, it's media, it's content, it gets our attention. What we then do is we take that attention, we take that person and we put ads. And these ads are about creating curiosity. So now that we've got your attention, we're gonna help you become curious about a product that's a solution to your problem. We're gonna help you become curious. And then once you become curious, once you've actually clicked and taken action on that ad, then it's all about creating a relationship. Letting you know what we do as a business, letting you know how we actually can help you. And these are the three steps of creating a leads machine. So right now, we have a beautiful opportunity that's amazing. And that is social media. But let's not forget, it's just like every single newspaper and every single magazine. You need to use it the right way. Most business owners don't realize they need to be building their own media machine. They have no idea that creating media is actually a massive part of being in business in 2018, is you need to create this media at the top, and we need to use social media. So the first question you've got to ask is, well, how do I create that media? Well, you need to have and use some sort of platform. So whether you like to write, whether you like video, you like audio, you need to choose one of those platforms. Either you're gonna do a podcast and have it audio and share it around, or you're gonna have a, a blog where you write, or you're gonna have video. Then you're gonna be able to use the social platforms to actually reach those people, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and search engines like Google to actually go and reach people with that media to get their attention. Now look, there are seven or eight ways to create media. The first way is you can teach things, like I'm teaching you right now. The second is you can interview. If you go to my podcast, I do interviews all the time. The third way is that you can do a Q&A show. Now, if you've got any questions, post them in underneath here, and I'll do a video and answer your questions. So just like I did then, you can also be asking questions and just answer those questions on your show. The next way is uh, you can do research. So you can go research, maybe it's market reports or other sorts of research. Uh, the next way is you can go and do motivation or inspiration. So you can motivate people, you can inspire them, you can get them moving. The next form of content is case studies, showing people that are just like your audience how you know they're gonna transition. And lastly, it's soap opera. It's stuff that's just fun and light and entertaining soap opera. And those are the seven ways, really quickly, to use media and create media to get attention. So let's, let's just make that one of your big priorities because most of you, you're a best kept secret in your industry. No one knows you. However, we live in this world where we have unlimited ability to reach as many people as we want, and it comes down to you creating good media. And look, this isn't something that's just been made up yesterday. This is a, a very, very old strategy. Relevant media, get attention, get engagement, and then put ads. So that's what comes next, is you must have a good balance here. And you think about TV, great example, right? You get a 30 minute show, and in that show, I think there's three ad breaks. Okay, so what that's going to tell you is, you know, you want to look at, at eight to 10 minutes of content with an ad break. So think about that. Whether that's a podcast, or whether that's a video, or whether that's, you know, a report, you need to think about if someone's spending, or an article, report or article, someone's spending 
you know, eight to 10 minutes with you, and then you're gonna ask them to buy something. Now that might not be in one sitting. I know that Facebook videos get massive viewership if they're one minute long. And so maybe every eight video has an ad on it, for example. Or maybe if you've got maybe every third or fourth article, or if you get someone to stay on your page for long enough, then you can put an ad on it. That's what comes next. And so to get leads, it's critical that you understand these three things because the, the third thing is relationship, right? You and I both know that not all leads are the same. You know, some leads are high quality people you want to talk to and some aren't. Well, the key thing is, is same for the lead. Some people that they subscribe to are high quality and great and some aren't. They don't know. So you need to be very good at building your relationship. And the way you do this is you nurture. So you've got to understand that people don't buy the first time they interact with you anymore. They're going to still on your email list. They're going to subscribe to your YouTube channel. They're going to be on your Facebook and they're going to hang they might not buy the first or the second or the third time, but maybe in two or three years after you've nurtured that relationship, they go out and spend and buy your biggest product or spend thousands, or they might not ever buy anything. They might just refer other people. I've got people in my database that have never bought from me, but I know they're important because they share my content like crazy, which then helps me reach the people that I get to impact and help the most. Remember, you have the ability right now to build your own leads machine and the way that you do that is by harnessing a 100 200 year old strategy create relevant media relevant ads and then build a relationship hope you enjoyed this video subscribe to this channel if you want more videos like this leave a comment or a question below and uh, i really hope that this serves you in the way that you want it to serve served and uh, i really look forward to talking to you on the next video bye